What's going on? Levi here from Digital Epidemic coming at you with another mobile first video. This video is a continuation in our series here where we're creating a blogging website using only our phone here. And in this video, we're going to be working on some of the next settings, uh, specifically a logo. So we're going to be working on this time and we're going to make it in a couple different applications and see which one's a little bit easier or just give you a couple different options. <laughs> Let's first go into Akabato and we're going to go into the back end here and get into the dashboard and go find out what size logo he would like us to have. So under the hamburger menu here, top left, we're going to scroll down to Akabato settings. Click that, click Akabato settings one more time right underneath that. And then we've got our standard Akabato logo in place here. We're going to go ahead and click on that and click X to get rid of it. And it says uh, the optimal size for a logo is 480 pixels wide, and the height can be between 240 pixels to 480 pixels. So let's go ahead and jump out of this and go over to the Canva app now. Check for links in the description for that as well, so that you can just pull it right open, if, especially if you're already on a mobile. We'll just link you right to the Google Play Store. When you first run this, I'm sure it's going to ask you to set up an account. I already had one set up, so it just let me right in. So I'm going to go ahead and type in to the search up here, logo for templates. I'm going to click on the very first one here and just start looking through some. Let's see what we think. So I'm going to go ahead and call. So my website is lovelandfortcollinsco.com, but I think I'm just going to call it LocoFoco. So I'm just going to smash all that together and call it local focal. So we'll just scroll through a couple of these. I'm just going to pick something here. See what I think. How about that one? We're right next to the Rocky Mountains. That works for me. All right, so we're gonna click on it. We're gonna click edit. We're gonna click on the main title here. I'm gonna hit home on the keyboard, hold shift, click end, and then type in. And then I'll put in our actual address down here at the bottom. Home, shift, end to highlight the whole thing. All right, and I can actually stretch this to be a little bit bigger. Move it in the middle, hit the check mark, and let's save this thing. Save it as an image. We saved your design. Now they want to share it. Well, I don't necessarily want to share it, so I'm going to close out of that. But that should have gone ahead and saved it to this device. I'm going to click Home here, File Manager application. Once again, link in the description. Click on images here, and sure enough, it did save it on the device as a PNG right here. And it won't actually let me export it. I've already gone ahead and checked to see what all I could do with Canva, and it wouldn't let me export it at the resolution I wanted. I couldn't get it out at that 480 by 480. It would only let me out, let it out at like a certain, they have like 20 predefined sizes, but they won't let you do custom, or at least not with the free plan. So I'm going to, at the last minute here, jump into another image editing program called Adobe Photoshop Express, which is a free program. And then I'm gonna click on that image and I'm gonna click on share at the top right. Okay, and then we're gonna come in here and change it from 500 by 500 to a custom size of 480 by 480. Click done and save it to gallery. Now that's saved out of there at 40 by 480. Hit home, I'm gonna go find it again really quick inside of utilities, file manager. And now when I click on images, it's under Photoshop Express and it's all this right here. Go ahead and close out of this and go back into Chrome now, back into the 
uh, WordPress backend. Click on Add Image. We're going to select the file. Click Files. And there it is. But if it didn't automatically pop up, we would just use the file manager down here and click on it right there. And it's uploading it. And it likes it. We'll click select. And sure enough, we got a logo. Let's go over to the live site. Oops. No, cancel. Click update. And now we'll go look at the live site. And sure enough, we got a logo. All right, so that's how we do it using just Canva and a little bit of a workaround at the end there using Photoshop Express to get it to the right size that we need it to. Let's go ahead and explore some other options here. All right, now let's see if we can do something very similar in a different program called Adobe Spark. Let's go ahead and go into the Adobe folder here. Spark Post is the name of this app. All right, we're in. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to hit search on the top right. Let's search up logo. Hit enter and see what that gives us. All right, so let's look through all the ones they're showing us here. I guess I kind of like this little effect thing here. See how well this works. Let me mix this template. So we have to click on each one of these. We're gonna click edit. We're gonna call this one local. I'll click on this one and we'll call it focal. Not really a third thing, so let's delete that one. Yes, I realize I can't undo it. I'll move it up. I'll make it bigger because I can't hardly really tell what's being said in here. Okay, I do kind of like that intuitive little dragging and maneuvering stuff. My website is. Click off of it, see what that looks like. Yeah. Maybe if we make it bigger, easier to read. Okay, where's our middle? Come on, I saw you. Where'd you go? Oh, middle. Maybe I'm just gonna put it right over the top of it, try and get it about the same ish. And we'll move it down. It was kind of overlapping. I guess it still has to be legible, I guess. I don't know if you can just use arrow keys. No, not really. Anyways, I'm sure we could just keep playing and playing, but let's just say that we like the way it looks and we're going to call it. So we want to resize it. What size is it currently? It is custom. We are going to change it from custom to 480 by 480 and click done and click done and now I'm clicking export the top right there and we're going to export it as an image and we're going to click allow this one and we're not going to do a transparent image because the it has a black background but if you didn't have a background and you just had this information you'd want to do it as a transparent all right it looks like that did it so let's go back to our home page here. We'll just double check with our trusty file manager that it's under images. Sure enough, it is. So let's go to our website right here in Chrome. Go into our dashboard. Click menu top left. Let's scroll down to Akabato settings. And under that, Akabato settings. And the very first one there. So that was our Canva logo. Let's click that. We'll exit out. We'll add an image. And we will click on Upload Files. Select Files. 
click on files, menu at the top left, file manager, pictures, actually I'm just gonna click home, images, spark post, there it is. It's uploading, select, and it's in. Now we can click here. No, we can't. I tried doing it again. Cancel. Update. All right. Now we can hit home and go preview the website. And there it is. And there's two different free ways to make a logo for your website, either using the Canva app or the Adobe Spark. Hey, here at the end of the video, I just wanted to point out that you can actually do a little bit of image editing within WordPress. If we go back in here to the gauges and click on dashboard, and then click on the menu and scroll down to media, click library. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that logo we made. I'm gonna crop a little bit of it. Now, once we're in here, we actually have to go into the menu up here at the top right, the three little dots for settings or whatever. Move me out of the way and click on desktop site. And then now we can actually pinch zoom here with our fingers here on the screen, kind of go down then back up until it gets to a good size. We'll move me here and click on edit image. And then again, I'm gonna use my fingers, two fingers, scroll over to it, pinch zoom it up and down. And then now I'm gonna click on the crop icon at the top left here. Pull the top down a little bit and pull the bottom up. Because earlier the Akabato settings said that we could go anywhere between 240 and 480, I believe, on the height. So we'll just squash it down a little bit and we click on the crop button up here at the top left to confirm it and then click save at the bottom. And then now we can go ahead and switch back to the mobile version. Click on desktop site here to uncheck it. And we can click on the close, click on the little house right there to go check a preview. And there we go. We've edited our logo just a little bit using just the WordPress content management system. All right, well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos as we start to build out this site even further using just our cell phone. Again, we're making a blogging website, so check the description down below for all the stuff I've shown you in this video and links to other videos within this series. Till next time, I'm Levi. Thanks for watching.